for your first alert forecast. Lonnie, we were just talking. Uh, it's kind of weird because we're getting all this warm weather, but still no rain. Yeah, and, and you listen, warm weather, okay, typically a warmer atmosphere holds more moisture. So that's what we talk about so often in, you know, global warming. Well, warm atmosphere gives us a lot more rain, bigger storms. We're warm, okay, we're going to get really warm again tomorrow and Wednesday, but we just don't see big rain in the forecast. And you guys know the story. We need some rain around here. Now, right now, you've got some clouds out there, but they're not serving up rain. 56 degrees as of right now. Look at your high and your lows for this day. 58 was the high, 44 was your low. Both of those almost exactly where you should be. So, look, it's not the warmth that we had last week, like on Halloween, but you're where you should be. So that's where we are as of right now. If you look at the comparison to 24 hours ago, temperatures are already running, you know, five to almost 15 degrees above where they were 24 hours ago. And that warm up, while it has begun, all right, the temperatures are starting their climb. It's going to max out on Wednesday, possibly record warmth out there. I'll show you those numbers here in just a bit. No major rain over the next seven days. I'm talking major rain. It's just not out there. And Tropical Storm Rafael is heading towards the Gulf of Mexico. We're going to keep an eye on that one because possibly that could give us a chance for some rain. Currently, a couple of clouds pushing through the area, but no rain out there. The bigger picture, now I will say this looks somewhat dynamic with you know, a streak of rain off to our west. Will we see any of it? The fact is, with that high, at least even in loose control, and it's not loose control, it's in pretty firm control of our area, it's going to prevent any of that rain from dropping into our area. Yes, there is a chance our northern suburbs can see a little bit out there, but not too, too much. And the front will eventually push through the area Wednesday into Thursday. So watch how this all works out. High pressure and control, that's all being pushed up to the north. Okay, here we go now into Wednesday. There comes the front late Wednesday into Thursday. Maybe a little bit of rain, uh, but uh, we need a lot more than a little bit of rain. Now, there is a big rainmaker out there. I'll show it to you in just a moment. But by the time you get to Sunday, into Monday, that big rainmaker, which is Raphael, it's down south of Cuba right now, any rain we pick up, it, up from it, this is all tropical moisture, by the way. I mean, a quarter of an inch to maybe three quarters of an inch, we have a deficit. We're like... 10, 11 inches below where we should be uh, for the fall season. Tropical Storm Rafael has 45 mile per hour winds. We think as this pushes into the Gulf of Mexico, could be cranked up to maybe a category one or a category two. I'll show you all of that. But the bulk of the models, not all of them, the bulk of them have it making a landfall somewhere around the Gulf of Mexico, then making that big bank, and possibly we see some moisture out of it. Wouldn't be too, too much, but here it is. Possibly a Category 2 around the western tip of Cuba, then into the Gulf, you've got a Cat 1, Cat 1, downgraded to possibly a tropical storm as it makes its landfall somewhere around the Gulf, possibly on Saturday, and then it's going to get picked up by the jet. It will move quickly to the north and east, so we could see some rain maybe Sunday into Monday. Across the board, it looks like this. 73 tomorrow, then you get to Wednesday. The record is 75, forecasting 76. It's a sun and cloud mix across the board. That front I showed you comes through with very little rain, maybe a little bit out there, but it drops the temperatures from 76 to 68. 68 is still well above average. You're 64 Friday, 62 on Saturday, and then Sunday into Monday, you see some raindrops out there, possibly associated with Raphael. I'll mm -hmm. keep a close eye on that one, but right now, the numbers they're suggesting are very, very minor yeah. amounts of rain. Yeah. Man, when are we going to get like a significant rain? You know, I not that I want a deluge, because then that's going to be a whole you don't other want that. No. issue. You want a nice, sustained, yeah. soft rain, like all day long, that mm -hmm. just keeps absorbing into the earth. I had a friend who went to a wedding in Sussex County over the weekend, went by three wildfires. Wow. Oof. That's scary stuff. Thank all you, right. Lonnie. Thanks, you